So earlier, I turned the old bike that hadn't seen the road for a while into a beautiful vertical garden full of succulents and a few bits and bobs off a bike into a fantastic sculpture that was also practical as a hanger. But let's go one further. This is my most involved job. If you go to any local bike shop, there's a very good chance that out the back, they've got tons of cogs and old disc brakes that are just piling up. I picked up half a box full for free because they like the show. Now, you've got to get the metal ones, but you can make something out of this that if you saw in an art gallery, you'd think was worth a squillion bucks. Five minutes of sorting out now, seeing what sizes I've got and making everything ready accessible when I've got the welder on will mean when my creative juices are flowing, I won't be rummaging through a box looking for a cog so big or so big. You can save a lot of time if you pick up individual cogs. Now, that comes off the back wheel of probably a mountain bike or a racer, and they're called cassettes. Now, they're really well made because they've got to put up with people like me sitting on them, so it's all riveted together. To break it apart, to make these individual cogs that we can use, you need to grind off each individual one of the rivets and tap them out one at a time. There's no science to it. You just need a little bit of brute strength. Ow. So what could you do with this stuff? Well, just lay it out flat on the table using all different sizes. You could make a fantastic screen, but I want to make a sphere, a ball. So. Rather than holding one and earthing it and trying to create the curve, I'm going to make a template. So that's going to be the size of my sphere. What I'm going to do is use this as the template on the base, make another circle, but cut it in half. So I can go this way and that way. And because we're welding, it's not going to stick to the craft wood. Pizza! Now I'm going to use a little MIG welder. You can buy this exact one for just under 400 bucks at Bunnings. It has a little coil inside that feeds through what you're holding. So your other hand, provided you've got some good safe gloves on, these ones are insulated, less than 10 bucks, and some decent sturdy clothes. I've got a long sleeve shirt, the glove will come up here, and the jeans are going to cover my legs. Nice and safe, and I'm going to have some fun. Goodbye. There's really no right or wrong on how to do it. I am definitely not a welder. The way I've started is I'm on the top. I'm making sure when I put one in, I've got contact on three sides. The one I'm putting in has contact. And away I go with the next. By using small cogs, you can create a steeper curve, which means a smaller ball, if you like. If you're left with a large hole and you don't like the look, you can always fill it in with another sprocket. A large sprocket works perfect as a base. Luke, I am your welder. So what I'm doing is just moving it around. I've got it earthed here, moving it around. So every time I'm welding one, I can see it's in contact with the ply on all three sides. And then the one I'm putting in position is in contact as well. So there you go, it's half my spear. I need to take this out, start again, and then I can glue, I mean weld, the two together. Ooh la la. Could be a fire pit or a big fruit pot. Now, if you want to turn this into a planter or well, something that can go over a plant, you're going to need a decent sized void so you can sit it over the plant. But I want a sculpture and a sphere that I can move around the garden. So all I've got to do is fill that in and then bring them together. Now, just like bringing two great minds together, hopefully my two harms will make one beautiful hole. Just got to make some room. There is a hundred gags I could say about recycling and upcycling and everything to do with cycling, but it's far too pretty and beautiful just to throw it away with a cheap line. That there, my friends, is a bespoke piece of art. I know it's cogs, not spokes, but I had to throw it in there.